WWE Hall of Famer Bill Goldberg is all set to have his retirement match next year. Based on his last few outings, it's logical for fans to have certain concerns, and it's Triple H's duty to alleviate those. Goldberg's last WWE match took place at Elimination Chamber 2022 against Roman Reigns. Even though it was a dream bout for many, the fight ended up being a lackluster affair. Despite WWE not having a follow-up plan then, the myth was certain that his clash against the Tribal Chief wasn't his swan song. Now that it's confirmed that Goldberg will be lacing up his wrestling boots in 2025, all parties involved must ensure that he gets an acclaimed farewell. For that, Triple H has to avoid the following three things. One of the main criticisms the sports entertainment giant dealt with for its booking of the Tulsa native in his second run was his multiple championship wins against credible young stars. The way he easily snatched the Universal Championship from Kevin Owens when the latter was on a stellar run, and then did the same with the late Bray Wyatt slash The Fiend, were both head scratching decisions. If the company wants the wrestling icon's final run to be full of goodwill, a title win has to be out of the question. Given that two of his dream opponents, Gunther and Bron Breaker, are currently champions, fans' concerns about history repeating itself are valid. So, if Goldberg finds himself in a championship match in his final outing, it's up to Triple H to do the right thing and prove to the fans yet again that the new era of WWE is for them. Even in his prime, the four-time world champion wasn't known for being an in-ring maestro. Both major companies he wrestled in played to his strengths for the most part, putting him in crisp, explosive matches. So, at this stage of his career, a lengthy match featuring Goldberg isn't something fans are craving. Furthermore, his heavily criticized clash against The Undertaker, which almost clocked at 10 minutes, should give WWE all the reason to keep things short and sweet while booking his upcoming retirement match. The company should be aiming for something along the lines of Goldberg vs. Brock Lesnar from WrestleMania 33. That contest was barely five minutes long and was basically a finisher, fest. To this day, fans hail it as the Hall of Famer's best match in his second run. Thus, the producer, S, should pace his final match similarly. While fans haven't been too vocal about their desire to see another Goldberg match, Terry Snow denying that he's still a marquee name. It's true that the 57, year, old legend's flaws would be better hidden if he faced a talent who would bump for him without expecting a strong comeback. After all, many found his 2019 match against Dolph Ziegler incredibly entertaining. From the current WWE roster, the likes of Chad Gable, Austin Theory The Miz could be slotted into the troll. However, the aforementioned approach wouldn't allow the company to fully capitalize on the hype surrounding the Hall of Famer's farewell run. After all, the honor of retiring a mainstream phenomenon should go to a current talent for whom the company has strong plans. Superstars like Braun Breaker and Gunther perfectly fit the bill.